Hello everybody. So today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is about differential equations. So now I will show you how to answer. I will put about v equals to first derivative of y. If we do first derivative for the both side, you got about first derivative of v equal to second derivative of y. Now we need to change this one and this one. So we have v and first derivative of v. So we can use about integrating factor. So we need to find about mu t equals to e to the power of the integration. We see that 2t minus 1 over t next to v. This is about integrating factor. So, the integration of 2t, we know that the integration of t, you got about t square over 2, number 2 and number 2, we simplify, and we have t square in here. The integration of 1 over t with the negative, you got about negative l and t. So, we can put into e to the power of t square and e to the power of negative l and t. Negative side we put inside about natural law in here. You got about t to the power of negative number 1. So we simplify this one in here. And we have t to the power of negative number 1. And we can write into 1 over t. Now we go back in here. So we have this one. That means we need to multiply both sides by 1 over t e to the power of t square. Now, we need to simplify this one. And we have 40 e to the power of t square. Next, we put the integration for the both sides. So, I will put like this. Next, we can apply about the product rule of derivative. So, we know that first derivative of y, we have first derivative of a multiplied by b plus first derivative of b multiplied by a. So this one is about first derivative of a multiplied by b. This one in here, that's about first derivative of b multiplied by a. So if we do this integration, we have y equals to ab. 
So that means this interaction in here, we will have about V over T e to the power of t square equals to this interaction. Now, I will concentrate about this interaction. We can use about interaction by substitution. So, I will put about u equals to t square. Next, we do first the derivative for the both sides, and you got about the u equals to 2t dt. So, number 4, we can put into number 2, multiply by number 2. So, t square we change by u, 2t dt we change by the u, and we have the interaction, and we have number 2 in here. The interaction of this one, we have 2e to the power of u, and we put about c. About u, that's the about t square. Now, we go back in here. So, the interaction of this one, that is about this one. Next, we divide both sides by e to the power of t square. About V, that is about first derivative of Y. Now, I will multiply both sides by T. We know that first derivative of y, that's about dy over dt. Now, we put dt go to the right. And later that, we put the interaction for the both sides. This one you got about y. The interaction of 2t, we have t square. The interaction of this one, we, we would see number 1 in here. That is about this one. To do about this interaction, you can use about interaction by substitution. We put about u equal to t square, and later that you got about 2t. Later that we divide both sides by number 2. So you get, you just use the same technique about this one in here. Now, we have c1 and c number 2. We have two constants, and we have the conditions in here. So, when t equals to number 1, y equal to 2 plus e to the power of negative number 1. So, I will put number 1 for the both side. And we have 1 square you got about 1. We put number 1 in here. We have negative 1 over 2 e. And we have c1 plus c2 y number 1 we change by this one
So we simplify number two and number one. So this one you got about number one. Now about second derivative, we just have this one in here. So we put number one for the both sides. So we have number two plus c number one because this is the, about the first constant. That's about c number one over e. So we have this one in here. So number two, number two, we can solve. So we have negative number two over e to the power of negative number one. That's about negative number two over e. C1 over e. Now we simplify e and e for the both side. So C1 equals to negative number two. After you got about negative number two in here, we can put this one going here to find about C number 2. So, if we put negative number 2 going here, we will have about negative, oh sorry, positive, because negative number 2, negative number 2, we simplify. So this one cancel. So we know that C number two equals to number one. After we got everything, we can go back in here. So we got the final answer. C number one, that's about negative number two. And C number 2, that's about positive number 1. Negative number 2, negative number 2, we simplify. And here is the final answer we need to find in here. This is the end. Thank you for watching.